Hello, I'm Daniel from iChill Technology. Welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'd like to show you how easy it is to configure an iTLS endpoint in the Universal Management Suite using profiles. Profiles are predefined configurations which can be assigned globally to managed endpoints. You can achieve the following using profiles. Setting identical configurations for a number of endpoints, defining different usage scenarios for endpoints or group of endpoints, significantly reducing administrative effort, reducing configuration options on the endpoint. In the navigation tree of the Universal Management Suite, you will find the not profiles. It contains all available profiles. I already have two profiles prepared. A double click opens the setup. Here you can see what I have configured. Changes to the default configurations are highlighted in blue. I'd like to change the default page when the browser starts. I switch from global settings to show my homepage. Now I can enter the URL of the homepage. I copy the URL of the knowledge base entry about profiles. Then I apply the settings. And this is the result. The endpoint gets a new configuration. I open the browser. Here is the knowledge base article, but the window isn't full screen. I'd like to change that. I open the global browser sessions and here I can change the window size. I click the triangle and activate the checkbox. Then I apply the settings again. The endpoint gets a new configuration and I reopen the browser. It now opens in full screen. Now I'd like to change the locale information. I close the setup. With a right click, I open the context menu to create a new profile. I give it a name. And select the firmware version the profile will be based on. Here we have some often used parameters. First, I change the time zone to Berlin. Now I change the language and keyboard layout. Now I save the settings to close the setup. In the next step, I drag the new profile and drop it on my demonstration endpoint. Then I remove the old localization profile. I let the change take effect now. And this happens to the endpoint. It gets a new configuration. And here in the system tray, you can see the time has changed. I also have an DE for the German language as indicator. It is possible to assign several profiles to an endpoint. Here you can see all objects that are assigned to this endpoint. At the moment, two profiles, Firefox and Localization Europe. It is also possible to assign profiles to directories. I assign the profiles Firefox and Localization West Coast to the directory new. And this is the result. All endpoints were automatically assigned these profiles.
To remove the profile, simply delete it from the list of assigned objects. By splitting settings into individual profiles and combining these, you can efficiently manage many endpoints. Simply drag a profile and drop it to an endpoint or a directory. This was quite easy, wasn't it? We take our slogan literally, simple, smart, secure. For more information, visit the IGEL knowledge base using kb.igel.com or you join the IGEL community using igelcommunity.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch out for new tutorials. Thank you for watching.